Okay, let's talk about indica or sativa. Everybody's favorite topic, and there's lots of perspectives on it. Okay, so no, I'm just giving you this information just to get you thinking in a broader sense, okay? When we talk about indica or sativa, it's really a very misleading term, and here's why. The genetics, or the chemovars, have been so diluted over the years that is this a true sour diesel? Is this a real Bubba Kush? Is it really gonna give you an indica or uh, sativa effect? Hard to tell. Remember, THC in and of itself, with no terpenes in it, has an intoxicating or psychotropic effect. It also has been shown through EEG that it is uh, stimulating to the mind. This is why when you uh, smoke or use too much marijuana, your mind starts to race. It also depends on how much you use. So when you talk to people who say, well, I smoke a sativa during the day because it's stimulating, I use a uh, indica at night because it's intoxicating, well, they take one or two hits of the sativa during the day. Well, one or two hits is going to stimulate you. And if you take 20 hits of the sativa at night, it's going to, again, make you feel tired. Now let's talk about some true things that we know. Like if you smoke a chemovar or a strain that is high in pinene, the terpene pinene, that helps by not disrupting the neurotransmitter that affects memory, okay? So if you wanna be stoned or intoxicated or medicated and not lose your memory, you wanna smoke a chemovar that's high in pinene. Again, because that doesn't disrupt the memory neurotransmitters. If you want to smoke a strain or a chemovar that helps relax you and sedate you for sleeping, something that's high in myrcene or neurolidol would work very well. The trick is finding those strains at your dispensary or at your local um, supplier. Very hard, again, because everybody's making and mixing their own genetics. You also have to remember that terpenes are extremely strong. You know that. You don't open up a bottle or somebody's smoking at a football game and everybody in the entire stadium knows it. They're very volatile. They're extremely potent. They're only about 1% to 2% by weight. They're very volatile. And again, I believe in the entourage effect. You just have to take into consideration where you're getting the product from. Is it real? Again, does it have the right terpene mixture to get the benefits that you're looking for? Now, when we're talking about edibles, I don't believe any of it, the sativa or indica, so let the nasty comments come. But when you're talking about eating a gummy or a brownie and having it create an indica or a sativa effect, I don't believe that. I've never read one white paper on that. Inhalation, yes, like I said, pinene for alertness, myrcene and neuraldol for sedation, but I've never seen that. And you also have to remember, when you eat marijuana, you get that conversion through the liver to 11-hydroxy delta-9, which is, again, six to eight times stronger than, than THC. So, again, your terpenes just make your gummies or your edibles taste like shit. They're very caustic. They give you heartburn. So I don't believe in the entourage effect when it comes to edibles. But you just have to think of these things. You can't just say, this is an indica, this is a sativa. You have to think broadly and think of all the aspects that are involved. The THC, the amount of THC, the potency of the THC, how often it's, it's used. Again, one hit or 20 hits. Does it have the right amount or mix of terpenes? Is it going to be smoked? Or, or vaporized, or is it going to be eaten? And also, remember, what is your mindset when you're smoking or eating this stuff? Are you happy? Are you expecting a happy effect? You're gonna get it, okay? Because the placebo effect is extremely strong in 50% of medications. Are you down? Are you paranoid? You smoke, you get more down, you get more paranoid. So again, the answer of indica, sativa, stimulating, uh, sedating. It's not just a one-size-fits-all. You have to look at it from a broad perspective, from an intellectual standpoint.